Welcome back, everyone. Mac OS Monterey actually ended up bringing a really cool and much needed feature for everyone out there, and it's actually low power mode. So I'll go ahead and show you exactly how to enable it. But as I've said before, and I'll continue to say for the rest of my life, do not install this specific thing just for the beta, just because of this feature. It is not worth it. Make sure you install it when it's in an official form. Like I mentioned, right now it's not officially out. It's in a beta. If you happen to have the beta, then you can go on. If not, wait until it officially comes out. Now, if you're watching this at that point, all you really need to do is make your way over to your MacBook. You wanna open up the System Preferences app, which you can get there by clicking on the top left where your Apple logo is, and then clicking on System Preferences. And then once you get into that little pop-up of a menu, you want to go ahead and click on the Battery option. So there's going to be a little battery icon. You can go ahead and click on there, and then once you get on that specific menu, all you have to do is locate on the left side of the specific panel. You'll see the battery icon, it'll say charged or whatever. You'll see usage history, but you'll also see battery. So what you wanna do is you wanna click on that little battery icon, and what it's going to do is it's going to bring you straight into the battery you know, optimization page. And all you have to do here is look at the very bottom and you will see the low power mode option come up. Now this may change in the future, so keep that in mind if it changes place or whatever. But as of right now, it's under battery and it's there somewhere. So all you have to do is make sure that the checkbox next to low power mode is enabled. If that is enabled, then you are pretty much good to go and you do not have to worry about this anymore. If you do click on it or if you don't see it, then you may not be on macOS Monterey and you're probably going to have to wait until you know the new version comes out officially or if you have a beta, then you can go ahead and turn it on from there. But that's pretty much how you do it. It's a pretty basic tutorial. If you guys have any other questions or anything, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would be so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.